Hey guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to part two, finally, of my October polish haul. You guys may recall from part one, if you saw part one, if you didn't, I will try to remember to link that below so you can check that out, but you may recall that I did uh, purchase quite a few polishes in October and so I'm splitting my October haul into four to five parts. We may shoot for four, just kind of depends, but I had hoped they'd be closer together, but due to the fact that I'm moving and kind of craziness, it has been quite a while since I filmed part one, but we are going to go ahead and go over part two. I think I have 13, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, yes, 13 polishes to share with you guys today. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, most of the polishes in this haul, not in this haul, but in this part of my haul are polishes that I picked up in D stashes. Um, I do love a good D stash because as you know, indie polishes are pretty expensive. And so if I can find it cheaper, I'm definitely going to go that route. So, um, I picked up two new to me brands, not two new to me brands, two polishes from a new to me brand. Um, in a D stash and the first one I have to share with you is nailed it polish and this one is called Whoville Hootenanny I'm assuming this is from maybe um, last year's like Christmas collection or something I have not had time to look up all of these polishes from my D stashes but so I can't tell you where they came from or anything like that. Maybe you can find them in a stash if you would like to acquire them yourselves. Or um, if they are still available on the website, you can go and check that out as well. This is Nailed It. Whoville Hootenanny. Um, it says Resting Grinch Face. And so I'm, that's what kind of gives me the idea that it was a Christmas polish. Um, released at Christmas time at some point, but here's this one. It's like a berry color with Let me turn it so you can see a bunch of different color glitters in there um, I do believe they are all the same Shape glitters round glitters. I see silver some um, Pink glitters uh, just a bunch of different colors blue purple glitters in there. It's really pretty. This is um, I'm going to show it to you on the swatch stick and it's two coats um, With top coat two three Unless I tell you otherwise I do have one one coater in here and three three coaters um, But this is this one on the swatch stick and as you can see all those glitters do kind of pop through there and this one is really pretty. I think this one's perfect for Christmas. Um, I would probably pretty much wear this one anytime. I love that um, those kind of berry shades because they are probably what I would consider in between purple and pink, which I love purple more, but I also enjoy pink. And they're right in the middle for me. And I think they look really pretty um, on the nail. So that one is Nailed It. Whoville Hootenanny. Um, the other one that I got from Nailed It is this one. This one's called You're Good But I'm Crowley. Um, it says Supernatural. Maybe one of you knows what that is in a reference to, but it's this beautiful orange um, kind of foily finish. Um, it does have like Super small micro glitters in there. It looks like black micro glitter micro glitters. I really love this one I wanted to get this one on the nails before um, Halloween however, I did not manage to do that, but I think it's a beautiful shade of orange. I kind of love this foily finish I think it would be perfect for some pumpkin nail art. I might actually try that um, Here it is on the swatch stick And you can see that kind of those micro glitters come through there. I think that's really pretty. Two coats with top coat to get opaque. You might have to throw a third coat on this one depending on your nail length. As you can kind of see through, you can see my nail. So I'd probably do three coats on this one. 
but I really think this one's going to be um, beautiful on the nail. That is, again, you're good, but I'm Crowley. I'm just guessing that's the way you say that. I probably should know that, and I don't. Anyway, I also got this one. This one's Nail Hoot. It's called The Master Maid. It's this beautiful kind of light pink shade with, um, those are like silver glitters in there. Real pretty, real light. I think it's going to be real kind of feminine and, uh, like dainty on the nail. Dainty is the right word. I'm going to say dainty. Um, this is it on the swatch stick and... It has holographic micro glitters that you cannot really see with this lighting, but you can see it a little bit. And there it is there. I think this one will be real pretty. It may be like springtime, but I'm trying to be a seasonal wearer. But you know what? Honestly, what I'm discovering is that I really can make any polish fit in any season if I want to. I just tell myself it fits and then it fits or I use it in nail art and it fits. So I could say this will be perfect in spring but I could probably find a legitimate reason to wear it in the winter or the fall or the summertime. Um, and I'm finding that I feel that way about a lot of my polishes even though I am trying to be a seasonal wearer. Kinda sorta. Kinda sorta. <laughs> So I imagine you probably agree with me that you can probably fit any polish in any season if you um, just kind of decide you're going to wear it and make it fit. And then all of a sudden it does. Um, okay, so the next one I have to share with you guys is also a new to me brand. This is Lemming Lacquer. It's called Divination, maybe? Divination? Divination? Y'all know I'm not really good with names. Um, anyway, I'm going to put it up on the, on the thing there for you. I'm going to pop it in there, the name, so you can uh, decide for yourself how it's pronounced. But this one is another beautiful berry shade. But guys, let me show you. Check out these flakies. OMG. Look at all that flaky goodness. I freaking love this one so much. I know I love some flakies. This is going to be beautiful on the nails. And it's got multi-chrome flakies. Uh, I, I can't even tell you. I, I don't even, I just, I don't even know how to describe all this flaky goodness in here. Here it is on a swatch wheel. And I don't know if you guys can see the flakies on the swatch stick. I think I just said swatch wheel, but I meant swatch stick. Look how pretty that is going to be on the nail. I really like this one. This one is definitely um, going to need to go from an untried to a tried very soon. So the other one that I got in a de-stash is this one. China Glaze called Pathological Liar Liar. This polish right here. Kind of this copper color with very very tiny holographic micro glitters which i just love so much because it makes it look like you just have stars on your nails um this one is very sheer i think it does take three you could probably even go for a fourth coat um just on principle alone i don't really like to do a fourth coat i avoid it if possible um but i might with this one because it is so shimmery when you get it on the nails i actually did this one or put this one it's an untried for me but i did use it in a mani that i did for my mom and i'll put that picture in here and it was really just shimmery and gorgeous on the nail here it is on the swatch stick and you can kind of actually see the little holographic glitters in there popping through um this is three three coats on the swatch stick with top coat I really enjoy this one. I think this one's going to be um, really pretty on my nails when I finally get around to wearing it. My mom enjoyed it on hers as well. I don't know what's going on with my camera, but there it is. So that one is Pathological Liar Liar China Glaze. So the other thing I try to do for you guys when I'm doing um, polish hauls is I try to include polishes that 
are not indie brands that are uh, mainstream bands, brands that you can, sorry, my camera's shaking, mainstream brands that you can find in the store um, at a decent price because I know obviously not everyone can, you know, afford, actually I can't either, afford, you know, to shell out money on indie polishes all the time. So when I'm in the store and I happen to pass by um, a polish that's a mainstream brand that I think you guys would enjoy, go ahead and pick it up. So I did pick up four um, polishes from LA Colors. I think I was in Walmart, maybe, I don't know. Anyway, sometimes I walk by the polish uh, stand in the store and polishes do not call out to me, but other times they do and um, I cannot resist the pull of their calls because they do not let me walk away. I'm sure that many of you have had this similar experience. So I picked up four today, not today, at, a, at, an, at another date. I'm sharing with you four today. Y'all, I don't know what is wrong with me, I can't talk today. Anyway, so first I have this one. It's uh, this kind of shimmery, light brown, I don't know, coffee color, if you want to call it. Can't really see it, I guess it's coffee color. There, it's called Topaz. I really like this one, it's a good formula. By the way, I haven't said anything about formulas on these since I started, but they're all really good formulas. Um, no issues with any of the formulas that I'm sharing with you today. This one is no exception. Here it is on the swatch stick. It is very neutral, but it also has like, you know, kind of a little shimmer to it. It's that foily finish. Um, I did do three coats with this one, but they were super easy. Um, just kind of went on like butter. We say that a lot in the polish community. Polishes go on like butter a lot. So this is <laughs> no exception to that. And of course, for the price, it's a beautiful, neutral, kind of coffee. I don't know. It's coffee with cream, not black coffee color, neutral color. Perfect for stamping on which I will probably do. The other one that I picked up that kind of drew my attention is another one with that same kind of four leaf finish. This one's called um, Paranoia. And it's this, I don't even know how to describe this color. Y'all, maybe y'all know how to describe this color. That gives you a little bit better idea of what it looks like. It's kind of like a rose gold foily finish color <laughs> I, to describe. I don't know I'm so bad at describing these polishes but if I had to describe it and tell you what color it is I would say rose gold I really love enjoy rose gold polish shades and so I'm pretty sure that's what drew me to this one in the store once again beautiful formula and it actually gets opaque in two coats unlike the last one I just showed you even though it's the same finish there it is on the swatch stick. And that's what it looks like. Might look like. Oh, on the nail. Um, I'm really gonna enjoy this one, I think, too. It's I I don't know what it is about rose gold uh kind of this year. I've kind of it's kind of been pulling me. I've been getting a bunch of um polishes in that shade and uh nail art things in that shade. So, you know, like glitters and whatnot, and so I'm sure that one's going to be beautiful when I get a chance to try that one. The other one that I picked up is this one. Um, supposedly glows in black light. Is that what it says? Yeah, glows in black light. It is called, it's this beautiful, um, it's called Underworld Navy Blue. It's navy blue, but it has like a, I don't even know how to describe it, y'all. It has like a touch of something else in it. But I guess it's closer to navy blue than anything else. So here it is on the swatch stick. And it is probably pretty close to being a one coater. This is two coats on the swatch stick. If you use thicker coats, you could definitely get this one opaque in one coat, I think. Um, which is good for a mainstream polish to be one coat. And this is what, like a couple of dollars in the store. So um, 
That one is called again Underworld LA Colors. This one is so gorgeous, y'all. I fell in love with it. And I don't like brown polishes. I don't have a lot of brown polishes in my collection, but this one has just a touch of something else and I can't even name it. I don't know what it is. Like a purple shimmer, light brown shimmer. I don't know. Some additional kind of shimmer in there. I mean, these labels kind of block it, but there's a better shot. It's a brown polish with shimmer and it is gorgeous. I love it so much. It is one coat on the swatch stick. There it is. It's just this dark, I don't know, insanely opaque brown polish. It's the only one I have in my collection because I don't do brown polishes, but for some reason this one is really gorgeous to me. I could wear this one as a full mini, probably with some stamping on it. I think it'll be gorgeous. So I am looking forward to wearing this one. Um, if I was going to say I love a brown polish that I have in my collection right now, this would be it. Focus is driving me nuts. Okay, so that's that one. I also picked up these other two. This is also another new to me brand. This is Mace Polish. And I was really surprised by, well, I won't say surprised because I'm, Hardly ever surprised by an any polish. You always expect it to be an awesome formula, and these were no exception. But I didn't have never heard of this brand before. So this one is a prototype. It's just named Prototype 12 Mace Polish. And y'all, this is so pretty. Look at this minty green with all of these glitters in here. Um looks like they're different size glitters. Like I definitely see some turquoise. Is turquoise the right? We're gonna go with turquoise. <laughs> teal. <laughs> Maybe teal is a better description. Teal, some blue glitters in here. Y'all, this is just so gorgeous. I, I'm i gonna show you again because I don't even think y'all got it the first time. Look at all of those glitters in there. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Blue glitters. Um, I'm gonna find an excuse to wear this during the fall just because it's just so pretty. And the formula is perfection, y'all. This is it on the swatch stick and you can see those glitters kind of popping that popping through there um opaque in two coats beautiful formula this went on like so smooth and i was it's one of those ones where i'm just like oh my gosh i'm painting it on and i'm like wow this is amazing and i'm looking at it i'm like wow that was this polish surprised me very excited about this one very glad i picked this one up and it's in my collection and i think it's gonna be beautiful Whenever I get a chance to wear it, I have so many. I don't know when, but I'm gonna find the time. The other one I picked up from Mace Polish, um, gorgeous as well. This one's called the Calm. It's this kind of I don't know navy teal base with these flakies in here, and I probably need to shake it up because you're not getting the good look at the flakies in here. They're actually let me shake it up a little bit because they're laying and they're still laying. They didn't, they didn't even move y'all. <laughs> but I want to show you guys, it's so pretty. Oh, okay, there's a better angle. You can see them a little bit. Look at that. They are so pretty. Um, Like purple, blue, green flakies. If I had to describe them, that's what I would describe them as. Here it is on the swatch stick. My only complaint is that they kind of get hidden by the base a little bit because the base is so dark so you can barely see those flakies on the swatch stick but I think if I did a third coat you could probably see them a little better um, and I don't really think I got enough out with the swatch stick you can hardly see any of those flakies on here at all but if I shake it up good and do three coats I think it'll be gorgeous so that one is the Calm Mace Polish. Okay, I have two more. The other one I picked up, I don't even remember where I picked this one up. I think I picked it up at Big Lots. This one is Moss Have. And I just picked this one up because I thought it would be perfect for fall. I had it um, actually in my fall box, I think, at one point. But I had to take it out so I could add it to this haul because I got it in October. Um, and this one is really light. Um, I don't know, like it's not, it's like a 
deepened mint. I don't even know how to describe it. It doesn't remind me of moss, although that's the name of it, but it's like a, it's mint, but dark, if that makes any sense. Probably does not, but anyway, here it is on the swatch stick. Oh, y'all, I have so many problems describing these polishes. They're just all so pretty. Um, and I think that one will be beautiful on the nail. Beautiful formula, of course. Um, I, you know, Simple Colors is just a really good mainstream brand. They hardly ever have a bad formula. Um, two coats with top coat. That one's going to be pretty. The last one that I have to share with you guys has also got this one in a D-stash. This one's called You Are Our Only Hope, Frank. This is 2.0, so I guess there was a 1.0. And it's this beautiful polish right here with all these gorgeous flakies. Um, so hard to describe. So hard. Just beautiful iridescent flakies <laughs> can't get my words right purple gold green um big frank flakies uh iridescent micro glitters just all kinds of glittery goodness going on here i did do i'll show you guys again in case you didn't get a good glance that first time look at that it is just i just love a glitter bomb this is a really good glitter bomb can be worn either on its own. This is it at three coats on the swatch stick. I think it can get opaque on the nail at three coats, especially if you do a little thicker coats than I did on this swatch stick. And it can also be worn as a topper. So I put it over, oh my gosh, what's the name of the polish? Oh my gosh, it's not gonna come to me. I'll have to pop in a picture because I can't think of it right now. You all know what polish this is. Anyway, I put it over this polish. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I can't think of it. Um, it is gorgeous over this uh, burnt orange polish whose name I cannot think of right now. And I'm sure you guys can nail it. You probably already know what polish it is, but I thought it was really pretty over this polish. I think it'll be pretty over a bunch of different shades. So that is it we got through 13 polishes it only took us looks like 22 minutes or so maybe 22 minutes and counting thank you guys for joining me today look for my october haul part three hopefully coming to you very soon and if you guys are not subscribed to my channel and you enjoyed this video please do subscribe give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in the next one thanks bye